from Benjoy. Yeah, it's, it's back and forth right now. Clearing Sin, clearing each out from one side to the other. It's looking like Ping Pong, but a goal! Tester's <laughs> Curse, as I say, it's Slain come crashing in there. Luna Esports tying this one up at 1-1. One, one. This okay. is a minute into the game right now. I just, I'm, I'm seeing a slight pattern here. I know 30 days was slain. Executed by Luna Esports here. They're looking mighty strong and again. Speaking too soon. Was I? No, slain. Again, bottom left corner. Look at the line on this angle here. One touch, all it takes. Slain knows his target, sees it, picks it out. And there's level coming out from the foundation, but it feels like they're going to lose it as quickly as they gain it. Slain with that play. On the top the slain taking to the skies like a G6. A look at that crash down straight at the bottom right corner there, forcing the own goal. Not quite where they need to now. We do see that Slane once again has the ball, looking dangerous. Back in the great clearance plan for Benjamin once again. Benjamin being the goal difference in terms of um, he's just been the absolute fantastic goalkeeper for Intimidation side. Razor. Absolutely fantastic shot with after a lovely clearance. Razor comes in, gets a great shot with the left hand side, and just boom into the top of the net. That's sick. Possession of the Blues. This is kind of back and forward right now. One team comes intercepting the other. There's not much that's coming on, but what we are seeing is that Intimidating are glutting for punishment if they can't snatch the ball out of possession of this Luna Esports side. And as I was just saying, Razor is taking a goal from it. They're not making enough steals in these games. We need to see more steals attempted by Intimidation. It looks like they're slightly intimidated. Pretty really good dead man though, with a lovely bit of clearance, but not really up in the field up enough. However, Dutchie is looking in. DJD, lovely clearance. Was the only offensive with that shot, but he's back in the defense. Whoa! What Nixus goal. Zombie, just out of nowhere. That, that was a great shot. But it felt like a, a bit of a poor clearance or la therefore lack clearing it outside of their half. They're just clearing it out of their goal. And every time they do that, it's simply setting up Nixus to score another goal. As we just saw, no real clearance. BJB off the wall into the back of the net. So managed to stop Nixus from scoring that. The zombie coming in from the skies. Does he take a goal? He does not. Loss of possession happens from yeah, no, you know, spec game more oh, mad. Oh, oh, taste. Oh, give this guy, give this guy a, a, a cookie. Just, just that great solo play came out from him. Actually, no, I actually think he took it off zombie. He, he did. With spec yet to even get on the scoreboard between both games. Clearance come out from Nexus. Still on the offensive. Rabo, 2v2 scenario. Some back up to the expected from Silda. Lines also in a great position, but it isn't needed as Silda takes the goal. 4 to 0 in this first round. Two minutes on the clock. Yeah, the majority of these chaos goals have been from in the air. I don't know if you've observed that. His aerial control hasn't been quite up to scratch there, and we've just seen him concede an own goal here as well. I feel like that he needs to kind of like. Let the nerves settle and try and pull oh, out something big. But Rabo looking to make this 7 0. 1 1 1 left on the clock. I mean, Imperium, what do you thought? Like, see, it's that setup. It's that setup bookmark. Just off the. Contest expert. He does so successfully. And here he is, the man of the match. Still there. Comes flying into the sky, making a great cut into the center goal. You can see, though, look at this replay. Yes. The SNJ there as a potential threat to shut down. Into the back and everything, get back hold of possession. Lock Rabo being set up perfectly executed. And as you just saw that goal, just I know it's such a, an obvious thing to say, but the way Chaos have positioned their cards when it... that was a wise choice as Mr. Swaggy Man come pushing in, but Rabo take it to the skies. Is anyone gonna be able to steal it though? SNJ recognize that, realize he needed to take that and does so very well. Definitely looking stronger, keeping it on the half of six. Oh, so Elf on the shelf! Look at him go! Top left corner! A solo opportunity there, just comes in, take a look at that, snatches the ball out of the clutches of both of the... ...to try and put it more into the side of Mr. 17. Alisar, first goal 
being taken out and um, yeah they, they start as they need to go on in this game too it took a little bit longer to get that first goal but they've broken the goal the hole in their rotation and that is a place where six surge could capitalize Yes, six surge and oh, great clears. They're not really clearing it out rather than just deflecting away from the goal, but it's never quite out of danger's way. And okay. as you can see, Elf taking another goal from nowhere. I mean, how, this, is, this is not planned. This is that, was, that was a clearance shot. Yes, of course, that could have been defended better, but to their opponents, you know, Lunar are doing definitely a lot better. Only three goals and zero, but about to score a fourth. I spoke too soon. Um, that's a fourth goal coming out from Nixus. And uh, yeah, just a certain level of lost motivation and, and a loss. Uh... Taking control of the ball though. Denied immediately. BJB stole possession. Take it to the skies where he belongs. Loves it up there, he does. Mark, this will make them stronger. It will give them a stepping stone into future performances. Tay is to score another goal for Nixus. And let's talk a little bit about they are, like you mentioned, they are the winners of the previous one. They are a mixed um, set of kind of talk about it, who they what went wrong, and, and they will be back in for future. Gotta give credit to who is continuing in this game in a 3 2 2 situation. Obviously, there's a very, very, very small chance of you know, knowing that they can get hold of the ball. Again, though, he, he managed to, he just lose, lost control of the ball and went ahead of field. I'm not quite sure whether he should be looking to do that. Rabo destroying Elf, though, taking the third goal here as well to Lime, coming in with the support. You can see Elf was the, essentially the last line of defense there. Um, and La and Rabo just destroyed him out of that, though, as Elf is going on a one-man mission down the left-hand side, getting shot down very well, though, there by Lime. Still, they're looking to follow oh, up on no. an open net, taking the first goal. Oh, great setup there. Goal left wide open by the Vicarious Levitate. Where? Sports of chaos ahead. Where was Valakar there? He was like, it's because it's still only 1 0. And hopefully, with the right aggression, they can get back into this game. It's more offensive, but they, it's kind of like they don't expect a Silver score to not go. So it's, like, it's like they didn't expect to be in that position. So it's like they don't know what to do. That's how it looks. And if they can just be a little bit more ahead in terms of their offensive steps, they can definitely take a goal here. Rabo denying it. Great reactions by him in the end there. And the shot was across the bat, hitting the post. So KSD Force, this is the most we see Nexus kind of really pushed away. The zombie getting this second goal. Only two goals conceded on KLC Sports. It's far from over because not only is there still three minutes to go, but Mark, boy, this is a bet. The go time is there. Rabo looking to take a shot here. Is Zombie going to be able to deny it? He does. Clubbers, but you've got to be able to get that done. You've got to be able to get in the back of the net. And they have broken the dunk. They have blocked their first goal and Nixus have conceded their first goal in this tournament. Is this is what is this what needs to happen? Is this going to have it really, has it really been huge? Line with the clearance of a lifetime bookmark. And it's kind of showing on their performance. Wait, I spoke too soon. Caster Curse hits me once again. Bookmark, should I just stop talking? Because BJB just scored a cracker of a goal. Put next to right back the ball in the back of the net. They've got, they're going to get back into this game and maintain a lead, but not quite as BJB scores a hat trick already to put themselves even further in the lead bookmark. Absolutely, you have three. Right wing, trying to bring it into the box though, but Silda on the defensive here, but BJB again reciprocating with an aerial bring down from the sky, taking it to the ground, almost to the back of the net. Great job by him, what strike from that angle. He won there as the score. It's looking like the second round in this grand finals goes to Team Nixus. Congratulations.